I would like to thank the Doha, the Doha debate for hosting us. And as the previous speakers have said, this debate comes at a very timely moment. The climate crisis, the mother of all our problems, is threatening our existence on this planet. Climate change is impacting our health, our food, water security, and threatening our biodiversity. Biodiversity and the interconnectedness of all creatures, big and small, underpin life on Earth and provide us with all the vital ecosystemic services for free. Yet, our extractive industries keep digging out resources recklessly, destroying the forest in the global south, the lungs of our world. Whilst resources from the developing world funded the first, second, and third industrial revolutions, there is no doubt they will fund the fourth too. In addition, poorer countries are bearing the brunt of pollution caused by unsustainable practices which serve the interests of corporations in the industrialized global north. Can the global south ever expect decent compensation? If the COVID vaccine rollout is any reference, then there is precious little cause for optimism. So what to do to fix the climate crisis? Putting a stop to oil and gas extraction is unfortunately not going to happen in the immediate to near future, as our economic model is based on extraction. There is a big hype to the transition to green energies. A switch to renewables will present its own set of challenges and might not be the short-term answer. We need a global focus on emission reduction, the root cause of the climate crisis. Many other additional parameters are contributing, including intensive agricultural practices. A sustainable world sits at the nexus of the world's leaders tackling greed and inequality, which are the main drivers of our present crisis. Countries need fairer and more equitable policies. Yes, this will hurt. Profits will dip. But if we want to safeguard a future for our children, we must not destroy the branch on which we are all sitting.